essentially um, one principal, and I won't necessarily give names, but one principal said that he uh, scaled down the curriculum and had the teachers teach more in depth in order to raise achievement and that it was working. Um, other things that were used, as I stated, was te were team building. Um, but there was an issue that was spoken of that I thought was important. And one of the speakers talked about unaccountable absences and how important it is for children to be at school. And, and I would agree that absences or absenteeism is a great deterrent to uh, raising achievement. I want to move on now and try to close out my show today. I've discussed with you so far the STEM to STEAM and the presentation that I went to at the Rayburn Senate Building in the Gold Room, sponsored by the Rhode Island School of Design, and also uh, Congressman Langevin from uh, Rhode Island. Then I also talked about the presentation sponsored by a number of educational uh, groups in cooperation with um, Congressman um, Grijalva, Raul Grijalva uh, from uh, Arizona. And I think both of the um, presentations were very good. The second presentation, a success uh, in, the, in the middle act, that's a house resolution, uh, was held at the Capitol Visitor Center on uh, this week as well. To close out, I want to go to an article from the Chronicle of Higher Education. Uh, I um, read this article and thought it was worth sharing with our audience. It's by Christopher A. Herschler, and it was posted on June the 19th, 2011. It's entitled, What If Her Grandmother Really Did Die? I thought the article was worth noting because uh, Christopher Herschler essentially lays out a lot of reasons about how students in college are impacted by circumstances of life. And he points out that a lot of times students are suffering from life circumstances, however they are going about unnoticed and that the people surrounding them, including their classmates and their instructor, do not know about the circumstances that they're going through. And that the indicators sometime of the life circumstances, and life circumstances is my wording, not the author's wording, um, that these their involvement in these life circumstances shows up when they're turning their papers in late and making uh, excuses. And he suggests that we should be more empathetic because it's a real, it's a reality that students are being impacted by life circumstances, whether they have a parent that deceases whether they are impacted by um, health issues, that these are real concerns and that we need to be empathetic. Um, and I agree with him. I think that children today are going through numerous life circumstances, not only on the college level, but also on the middle school, elementary, and high school levels. And while I'm not saying that we can allow all circumstances. I am saying that I understand what the author said about being concerned, being more concerned about students. I remember being in a, a college classroom and I remember calling the attendance for the class that day. And I recall a student letting me know 
that that student would not be attending class anymore, that she had died in a car accident. And unfortunately, I had not been informed that the student had deceased. So I, again, I think that it's very important to consider that students are going through changes in life and that um, we need to take opportunities to speak to students and to become involved to the extent that we can in helping them have a more wonderful life experience. As a classroom teacher, I have been involved by creating MSA activities to raise awareness in the MSA and AYP. I have given out door prizes, treated students to lunch, and tried to celebrate when they do something wonderful. This year I had the opportunity to recognize 61 students. I have a list of 70, but to recognize 61 students who were in attendance for achievement in art, but also in areas such as service to others, leadership, uh, improvement in academics. And I think that this is the way that we should go in the field of education, trying to make a more pleasant learning community, a better learning climate. And I think that the way to go in education is not to limit the successes of students, but to take ownership and to help them recognize and celebrate their achievements, but also to be more inclusive of all students and of the successes that they achieve. This has been an educational moment. I'm your host, Dr. Pat Dingle. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that you will tune in again.